Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. If you're new, you're welcome. My name is Anissa Fon and if you haven't subscribed, kindly subscribe to help this channel grow. Don't forget to hit that notification bell to get notified each and every time. I upload new tutorials on my channel. If you're a member, you're welcome back. Thank you for coming back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you on how to drop this boss here top step by step. This was a requested tutorial, so if you want to know how I do this, keep on watching. This kite pine, I'm going to put in my soldier measurement. My soldier measurement is 14. 14 divided by 2 will give me 7. Then I will come to this 7. I'm going to go down by 1 inch because our soldier is not straight. From this 1 inch I went down, I'm going to mark my armhole deep, which mine is 7 and a half. Then I will still come here and mark this 7 inch here like this. I'm going to mark this 7 inch. Here. I'll connect this point from here to here with a straight line, like so. Like this. Then I'll connect it from here to here, like so. After doing so, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come here, I'll create my neck deep and my neck width of 3 by 3 inch. Connect that from here to here. Then I'll connect this point from here from here to here. Like this. Next thing I will do, I will measure whatever I have from here to here and divide it by two. Which mine is seven and a half divided by two will give me 3.075. I'm going to go in by three quarter inch. I will come here. What I'm going to do is I'll put one quarter of my Bust measurement, which is eight and a half. I'm going to connect this point from here to here and from here to here, like this. After doing so, the next thing I'm going to do is I'll measure from my soldier to my boss point, which is 10 inch. From my soldier to my under boss, which is 13 and a half. From my soldier to the half length, which is here. And from the soldier to the length of my top, which I'm going to go with 20 inch. I'll connect these points with a straight line. So here I have my... Here my boss point and here my under boss, here my half length and here I have the length of my top. After doing so, the next thing I'm going to do is I will put in my nipple to nipple measurement. Mine is 7 in 7 divided by 2 will give me 3 and a half but I need to add half inch to it. I'll come here and mark the 4 inch and I'll do the same thing here 4 inch and I'll come here and do the same thing here 4 inch. I'll connect it with a straight line. After connecting it with a straight line the next thing I'm going to do is I will come here here like this I'll go in by 3 quarter inch and here I'm going to go in by 1 inch for my dark okay next thing I'll do is to come here I'm going to do the same thing three quarter inch and one inch then I'll come here at my boss point I'm going to go down by one inch one inch after going down by one inch what I will do is to connect this point from here to here like this okay. so, So after connecting this, the next thing I'm going to do is I want to come here and my boss point. I'm going to go down by three quarter inch, which I already did. I already marked it here, three quarter inch. So I'm going to take whatever I have from here like this, from here to here, which is one and, and three quarter. I will divide it here, right? So what I will do is I'm going to come to this side like so. This side right here, I will go out by three quarter inch and here I will go out by one inch 
right like so and I'm going to do the same thing here like this You saw, so come here like this. I'm going to connect this point from here. From here to here like this. You see? And now, the next thing I will do is to come here like this. I'm going to measure whatever I have from here. This, whatever I have from here, which is... Uh, three quarter in so i'll look for the midpoint of this from this distance from here to here i'll look for the midpoint and mark it down and from there i will come here like this here like this i will go down by three quarter inch here three quarter inch which means that i'm going to extend this line like so this is my new chest line so i need to connect this point from here to this line like so I'm going to place this like so connect this point like this all right and then blend this out All right. The next thing after doing so, the next thing we're going to do now is I'm going to put in my measurement. So I'll come here on my chest line. I'm going to put my one quarter of my bust measurement, which mine is eight and a half, which is here. 34, 34 divided by four will give me eight and a half. So here I will replace back the one and three quarter back here. Then I'm going to add my three quarter inch of allowance. I will come here on my half length. I will put one quarter of my waist measurement, which is 28, 28 divided by four will give me seven inch, but I'll replace back again the one and three quarter I took out. Then I'm going to increase the quarter inch of allowance i'll simply do the same thing here like this then i'm going to replace back the one and three quarter inch then i'll add my three quarter inch of allowance i'm going to connect it from here to here from here to here and here i'll go down straight after doing so the next thing I will do is I'll come here. I'm going to blend it up because I don't want it to be kind of sharp. I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to blend that up. All right. So I'll pull this. We are done with the front. With the front. So I'm going to uh, drop the back. Right. What I will do first of all is just to come here like this. I will extend this line. I'm going to extend this line as well. I'm going to do the same thing here. After doing so, what I will do is to come here. I will separate this. All right. Now I will go ahead to mark my nipple to nipple measurement. Which mark is four inch? I'll mark it up, right? I'm gonna come here. I'll mark the four inch as well. Connect these points together. After doing so, I'll go ahead to create my dark four three quarter inch here and three quarter inch here. I'll connect this all the way to this top part here like so like this so I will put one quarter of my boss measurement which mine is eight and a half 
here I'll mark it off I'll come here and put one quarter of my waist measurement which is seven inch plus this one and a half I took out so I'll mark it up then I'm going to add three quarter inch allowance I'm going to do the same thing here. We mark three quarter inch of allowance. Don't forget here as well at the back we need the zipper allowance. So I'm going to be adding my zipper allowance. I'll add one inch for my zipper allowance and one inch for my zipper allowance. I'll go ahead to connect that like this, this straight line. All right, the next thing I will do is I want to come here like this. I will come here like this. I'm going to go down by, let's just say two inch, two inch here. So I will take this, my ruler, I'm going to place this like this. Place this from this line here. I'm going to place this like this. If you want yours to be straight, you just go ahead to leave it straight but i want mine to have a kind of a shape behind like this all right so this is my all right so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to number it up come here and put two and here i'll put three here i'm going to put four now the next thing I'll do is to go ahead and cut that off. So these are the pattern i hope you guys love it so these are the two pieces for the front and here are the two back uh pattern so i hope you guys love this tutorial do not forget to give me a thumbs up like comment and share i hope to see you in my next project bye bye